Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Now today I've got an Instagram made me buy it. I've done some YouTube made me buy it, but truth be told, I'm probably just as influenced by Instagram because I am always scrolling on that. It's so bad. I feel like on Instagram as well, there's a lot more kind of trends. So like you'll see the same thing over and over again, which I personally think makes you want it even more. Before we get into this video, do make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's try and hit 12,000 thumbs up. That would be amazing. That like absolutely incredible. So let's get on with the video. So the first thing that Instagram made me buy is a piece of makeup. Now I've only got one piece of makeup in this video. If you would like me to do like a separate Instagram made me buy a makeup video, then I will do that. Let me know down below and I will put a little poll up here. But yeah, the first thing is the iconic illuminator. Now this is incredible, but I wouldn't have bought this had it not been for Instagram. This is a liquid highlighter. It is incredible. It's so insanely pigmented. It's got a kind of dropper on it and you kind of pop it on your cheek or on your hand and then like it is incredible I love it it's sold out so much of the time so when it is in stock definitely something that you kind of save up for and grab it when you can I love wearing this on my cheeks and it's a very it's like a liquid to powder formula so you can actually put it on top of powder I don't actually know why I'm putting this on my face I really didn't plan this but we'll do we'll do a try it thing uh, so yeah as you can see, like my face was totally powdered down and now it's got a really nice kind of highlight to it which I think looks so incredibly pretty. And now I've just got a ton of highlighter on my hand that I don't know what to do with. <laughs> the next thing that Instagram made me buy is some swimwear. Now if you've been on Instagram long enough then you will remember when Triangle Swimwear blew up. Like I remember when you would see Triangle Swimwear in your feed like every single day. Like, so you scroll and like every three pictures you would see a triangle swimwear bikini. Now, they actually reached out to me like after I bought mine and offered to send me one. But before then, I had actually purchased my own uh, because I was just so obsessed. Now, this is years ago and I still have them. I still wear them. So I'm going to show you two of them. So the first one, this isn't like the first one I ever bought, but this is like one of them. And they are the kind of like bra shaped ones. Now, this one's bobbled, which is really weird. To be fair, I have worn these to death. And then I got this one. This is one of their more recent ones. I think they might still sell this, but they're just really, really nice. I don't have the biggest boobs in the world. I'm a C, so not tiny, not huge, just like, you know, in the middle. But these really are really nice. They're supportive and they don't have any padding in it to like push up, but they do make your boobs look really nice. I'm like really confident when I wear them and I know I'm not going to fall out. So that's really nice, but they're just so expensive and the bottoms, I, I don't like the bottoms. I know they offer like thong ones now, I personally haven't tried them, but when I bought these, it came with just the normal bikini bottoms and I can't say I've ever worn them, but yeah, definitely Instagram made me buy this. And I actually did a review on it on my blog at like years ago, before I would ever do like a YouTube review, and it got so many kind of views on my blog because people were just obsessed with like triangle swimwear. and. I do think they have some really, really cool products and I, I would genuinely buy more. The next thing that Instagram made me buy is a pair of sunglasses. Now these are a more recent purchase. I bought these on my trip to LA at the airport as a little treat. Sunglasses aren't something that I kind of buy too often. Uh, so this was like definitely a huge treat for me. These are the Dior ones. Now I'm not too sure what the name is. Does it say? No, it doesn't actually say the name of this style, but it's this style that everyone hyped over, I don't know if they're still hyping over them, but it's like the one with this shape and then you've got like the bit across here, there was like some metallic ones and everything, people just went crazy for them. And I saw these all black ones and just thought they were gorgeous, I don't own black sunglasses so I thought it was something a bit different, now obviously they're Dior so they are quite pricey, but I got my inspiration from Instagram, like I wouldn't have bought them for any other reason, I just saw them on people like so much, I think they look really cute, even just like popped in your hair, so yeah, I bought these because of Instagram, <laughs> which is actually really bad when you think about it, but I really love them, so I'm, I'm very glad I did get them. Oh, we're doing this whole Instagram video and I haven't even said it yet, but my Instagram is Emily Canham if you'd like to follow it, and I do actually have a kind of fashion Instagram which is called What M Wears where I post links to like all the outfits that I'm wearing and it's a little like behind the scenes Instagram where I just post more casual pictures as well which is really really fun so yeah those are my Instagram accounts if you were wondering if you want to give me a follow if you don't it's fine <laughs> the next thing that Instagram made me buy is 
a piece of outerwear, a piece of clothing, and I saw this going around on Instagram, not actually for that long, like a few days, and I, I snapped it up, and it's the Zara Baby Pink Cropped Biker Jacket. Now, this was like huge on Instagram. I don't know if it was on your feed, but on my feed, like everyone had this. And I believe Zara did like a baby blue one as well, maybe, and another color, but I, yeah, was it like a beige? I don't know, but I got the baby pink one. I think this was around 40 pounds, but it's really, really lovely. Obviously, it's not real leather for that price, but it just it sits so nicely on like it It is definitely cropped so it is really really flattering. It's really nice to wear like like white dresses or even like stripes I love stripes and obviously I love pink um, But yeah, I got this because I saw people on Instagram and I absolutely went mad for it And then when I got mine and posted a picture of it so many of my followers went mad for it and were like, oh my gosh, I need it so I was like, yeah you feel exactly the same as me. It's just some things you see and you're like, you absolutely need it. Like, I thank gosh I've been saving up to do like a clothing shop and then it just timed so well and I was so happy. <laughs> Final two things that Instagram made me buy are two pairs of shoes. So I'm gonna start with the more expensive ones first. And these are the Chanel Espadrilles in the beige color. Now they're the leather ones and I, I say Instagram made me buy it because they did, but I didn't, like go out and buy them because I saw someone wearing them on Instagram. Seeing them on Instagram kind of ignited my love for these. I remember seeing someone wearing these with a pair of ripped denim jeans and a white shirt like way back on Instagram. Just thought they look so chic, they look so cool. And um, one day I would love to own them and there's something that I've had kind of in my like on my wish list for so long because I saw them on Instagram and then finally a few weeks ago I was in Harrods and they have them in stock in my size which is so very rare and I, I went for it and I'm so happy I haven't worn them yet but I'm so excited to wear them in the upcoming season with ripped denim and a white shirt <laughs> and I'm going to recreate that Instagram picture but yeah this is something that Instagram really really made me fall in love with these and I own them and I can't believe it and I'm like Ah, I'm so happy. Yeah, Instagram made me buy these. Yeah, it did. And the other pair of shoes that Instagram made me buy are my new Nike Air Max Theas. And I saw someone wearing these on Instagram very simply and was like, oh my gosh. I saw like three, there was three pairs of trainers. I actually did a poll on Twitter and was like, how, what ones do I buy? And I got these ones. I'm very happy with them. Again, they're like expensive. These are like £95, which... I hate spending that much money on trainers. Like, I'm so happy with my slip-on vans, which like 45 pounds or whatever, which still is like expensive, but I feel like I could get two pairs of my slip-on vans for these, but I, I wear nothing but slip-on vans at the minute, and it's so bad, and I've been like that for the last like four years, but I decided I need to get something different, so I like the fact they're like beige, like oatmeal color. They go with everything. They're, they don't really stand out without being like bright white trainers. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. And you can get them on ASOS, which means when they do like their 20% student discount days, then you can get them for a discount. Uh, but yeah, they, they were gorgeous. But like I said, when I, I think when I unboxed these, I had been umming and ahhing for months. Like I see these things online, I, I think about them for so long, and I'm like, I can't, I can't, it's so expensive, I can't, I can't. And then finally I'm like, Emily, just do it. And then, Oh, I got them and ah, they are so so pretty. So those are some bits and bobs that Instagram made me buy I really hope you enjoyed this. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did Also, if you'd like me to do like an Instagram made me buy it makeup version Then do let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you so very soon. Bye